Yeah, we're testing out the four inch stove here. And not having much luck really. Uh, I don't know if it's just because it's a little bit breezy out here or what, but uh, put a smaller pan on there and it still don't. Uh, been a while to try to heat it up. <clears throat> and kind of doesn't want to, almost don't want to draft quite right. Play with the wood all the time and you can get it roaring and then it slowly dies down. Not sure what's going on here. Anyway, we're not too impressed yet, but we'll uh, give updates as we uh, get further along. Well, we're back. <clears throat> Made a little bit of a change on the stove last night. We were kind of disappointed in it. And as you remember, we had these uh, two pieces over the top of it there that we set the pot on. Well, we got the cooking done, but the oil never uh, got maybe close to 300 at the highest point and no matter what I did couldn't get it to burn any hotter um, there wasn't a vigorous fire it was burning really rich and uh, kind of had to keep playing with the sticks to sometimes even keep it burning it, so this morning what I did was, uh, I don't know how well we can see that, but made a funnel for the top instead of the two little cross pieces there. And uh, we've been probably 15 minutes here. The fire seems to be burning a lot better. It's making a little bit of noise in there. The wood's popping. Um, it's actually eating the wood qu uh, quite quickly here. But as you can maybe see, we're 450 degrees down there. And uh, our oil's actually gotten too hot. <clears throat> so just that little change, I don't know. The stove itself was getting close to 400, but it just wouldn't heat that oil up in that pan. And I'm just thinking the, what do we call that, convection or... <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I moved my uh, propane cannon down here by the house. <clears throat> getting tired of so many birds, sparrows mainly. And of course, dove season's open, so uh, when it just blasted off, there's 15 or 20 uh, doves that just flew away. Bought one of them bird bird calls, or uh, just they they send a distress call or a, a predator call, and that seemed to help a little bit, but it didn't quite. Uh, alleviate the problem so we're going to add a little bit more excitement and see what happens so we should be good it, uh, it only goes off once every 30 minutes anyway back to the stove um, yeah well, on the back side we're 500 degrees so, by changing to that funnel top there, um, like I say, it either uh, makes that heat uh, transfer into that pan a little better. Um, you know, I, I can't imagine that cross piece in there um, restricting the, the flow that much, but... Uh, because, I mean, we had the heat, but it wasn't being transferred. So definitely that funnel is uh, designed like that is uh, way more efficient. 
So with that in mind, I uh, should have measured the pot or the pan before I put it on there. Um, I made that thing eight inches square, and it was kind of the pan, pan didn't fit in there very well. We uh, so I just took an, uh, the crescent wrench here and I bent the tabs inward a little bit to set it up because it sat down in there and was blocking it completely. The fire would go out. So that's a 10 inch pan. So uh, I want to go in and I'm going to make my funnel 10 inches so that that thing sort of fits in there and it'll direct the heat across the bottom and then up and around all all the way around on all the sides because that's the way the, the six inch was working and uh, you know I had to be careful on how much wood I stick in there to get the oil too hot so uh, that should make it more efficient then we're gonna have to cut a we'll have to have a grill on there which it'll be big enough to now actually put a grill on there in case you wanted a smaller pot and then I'll uh, I'll keep the the raised tabs in the four corners uh, in case you want you know a 12 inch uh, would set on there and maybe not I don't know if it would uh, it may not heat a, a big 12 inch pan to 350 degrees but um, we'll just have to keep that in mind or uh, use the know that we have to use a smaller pan or or if we need more we can use the six inch uh, stove so we're learning here as we go um, make little adjustments here and there before we uh, settle on the final design um, I also brought our little pocket stove out last night uh, thought well man I better test that just see what if I did something wrong need to ch change our dimensions in any way uh, and anyway fired that thing up and it just roared like a, a rocket should so I think we're good to go there we we'll just know that uh, I need to keep uh, a funnel type of design. The problem with that is that I'm limited on space, so we may have to do a little bit of engineering when I get to that part. But we'll get her get her filled up. Um, all right. Well, let me go uh, while this is cooling down. Um, I'll go draw out uh, a 10-inch funnel. And I also, I might, um, this riser, the six inch, I'm at nine inches. And this one, I got a little carried away. And the pot's sitting about 10 inches. So, uh, not sure. Probably tack the other one on there, give it a test run, see what happens. And uh, then I'm going to cut two inches off of that and then retest to compare. And uh, I mean, there's no use making it any taller than you have to. Just more, more material, more cost. And, uh, but we sure don't want to, we want to go for uh, performance here and not cut corners on the material. So anyway, it'd be fun to test uh, both ways and, and uh, we'll report back with uh, what we find.